Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we'll be talking about how to bulk import PMs into Limbo. This video will walk you through how to quickly set up PMs using a combination of our sample import file and task relations within the app. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbo, your screen may look different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into the how-to, let's touch on some important best practices. You can import up to 100 PMs into Limble in a single import. If you need to import more, batch your data into separate import files. We provide a sample spreadsheet, also known as the sample import file, that can be used to set up your PMs and make importing easier. The spreadsheet includes sample rows to show you how to populate each field. You should remove those examples and fill them in with the correct data for your import. Within the spreadsheet, hovering over a column name will show you an explanation of what it's for and how you need to format the data to import properly. Be mindful of formatting mistakes. If something is formatted incorrectly in your spreadsheet, you'll receive an error message about what went wrong but checking for errors before you upload will save you any hassle. Photos, documents, or files of any kind cannot be bulk imported due to the limitations of CSV files. You can add your files manually once your import is complete. We recommend you do a test run with a small data set before attempting a large import. This gives you the opportunity to make sure your data is being imported correctly and everything looks as it should. And finally, be patient with the system. If you're importing a large data set, it will take the system some time to process the information. We get a lot of questions about the most efficient way to set up PM templates. The easiest way to do it is a combination of setup in a CSV file and creating task relations in Limble. First, we'll work on the CSV file in Excel. Navigate to the Manage PMs page. Click the Import Export button from the toolbar. From the dropdown, select Import PM Templates. You will be taken to a new window with a list of instructions. Download the spreadsheet by clicking on Sample Import File. Open the file. Do not remove or change required fields. The following fields must be filled out in order for your PMs to import successfully. First, the PM name. This is what the task will be called in Limble. Next is Instruction 1. You need at least one instruction per task, but you have the option to add up to 100 instructions per task in a single import. We recommend filling out instructions minimally in your import and using task relations in Limble to set this up, which we'll cover in a bit. The next field is scheduling start on, which is the date when your PMs will begin to generate. You can use any date format here. Next, you need to add data for one of the following schedule options repeat X days, repeat X weeks, repeat X months, or repeat X years. This will translate to how often your PM is scheduled to generate. So for example, if I chose repeat X days as my schedule option and filled out 10 in the row, my PM would generate every 10 days. Make sure to only enter data for one repeat X option. You can configure additional scheduling options once your PM template has been imported into Limble. The final required field is assigned to user or assigned to team. Assigned to user will assign an individual user to a task, while assigned to team will assign a team to the task. Assigned to user will be the user's login, which can be found on the Manage Users page. Assigned to team will be the team name, which can be found on the team's page. Make sure to enter data in only one of these fields. The user or team must be active at the location of import. There are several other fields that can be imported to add more detail to your PM template, which we include within the sample file. If you don't need this information, simply delete the column from your import file. Remember that you can hover over the column name to learn more about the field and how to format your data. We include sample content in rows two and three so you can see how to populate each field. Be sure to delete this and fill in your own information for your import. Once you've filled out the required information and desired optional fields, 
save your CSV file and navigate back to the import screen on the Manage PMs page. Select Upload File. If your spreadsheet has any errors, Limble will define where those errors are and what you need to do to fix them. If your import does not have any errors, Limble will list which PMs you have successfully imported. Now your PMs are uploaded and we can move ahead with the instruction setup. Once you've entered your PMs into Limble, it's easy to create and replicate instructions in Limble using relations. Relations allow you to quickly update a number of different details from one template. Not only does this make setting up similar PMs a breeze, but it allows you to easily make changes to a large group of PMs in the future. First, you'll want to create a master template that you will use to replicate instructions for like templates. On the Manage PMs page, click New PM Template. For example, we'll pretend this is a master template for HVAC units, so we'll name this Master HVAC Annual Inspection. Then click Create. Click on your new PM to open it. In the new window, add your instructions by clicking Add Instruction and include your desired instructions for the task. You do not need to include schedules, assignments, or other details. Doing so will generate an actual PM, which we don't need since this will just be used as a template. Once you're satisfied with your PM instructions, select the Relations icon. In the new window, in the What Information Would You Like to Update category, select Instructions. Then select Create New Relations. In the new window, choose which PMs you'd like to relate to the master PM. Then click Select. Once you're satisfied with your changes, click Update. You'll receive a message confirming that you want to make updates to all of the related PMs. Click Yes. Now your PMs will all have the desired instructions from the master template. If you want to make specific changes to some, but not all of your related PMs in the future, simply select or deselect the PMs you want to update. You can also break a PM's relation by selecting the link icon. This will not make changes to the PM, but will remove the PM from the relations list for future updates. Let's talk briefly about bulk updating PM templates. Making bulk updates to PMs is easy to do. The Relations feature allows you to make bulk updates to PM names, schedules, settings, assignments, descriptions, and parts associated with the task. You can use the Bulk Actions button to delete PMs, reassign a user or asset associated with the PM, and add or remove tags. If you decide to bulk delete any items in Limble, be extremely careful, as this action cannot be undone. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can visit our Help Center anytime for lots of great information about the importing process, reach out to our support team, or talk to your CSM to learn more.